Welcome to the Honey Farm of Carl and Virginia Webb. They are full-time commercial beekeepers in the North Georgia mountains. Honey is manufactured in nature's most efficient factory, the beehive. Honey bees are social insects. They divide their work within the hive and live with multiple generations of bees in the colony to help it survive. Beekeepers have simple tools they use in working with the bees. To protect themselves, they wear a hooded veil and long gloves. A hive tool aids in opening the hive and lifting frames of honey while the smoker calms the bees. During the spring and summer, bees gather nectar from flowers. A honeybee has a long tube like a tongue. She sucks nectar from flowers and stores the nectar in a special stomach or honey sack. Honeybees make thousands of flights to flowers to gather nectar. Honey is nectar gathered by bees, brought back to the hive and stored. Because the moisture of the nectar is high, the bees flap their wings to evaporate the water, then seal the honey with beeswax cappings. Honey, pure and natural. A beehive can produce several hundred pounds of surplus honey each year. Honey bees also gather pollen from flowers. Pollen is carried back by the bees on their legs in pollen baskets. Pollen is a rich protein source used by the bees to feed the baby bees or larvae. Pollen is also used by people to help build tolerances to allergies. Another substance bees gather is propolis. This is gathered from the surface of tree buds and mixed with beeswax. Bees use propolis to waterproof the hive and seal cracks and crevices that may harbor pest organisms. When a honey bee returns to the hive and wants to tell the other bees where to find a good source of nectar, they communicate by dancing. The foraging bee must convey distance and direction bees are to fly to find the nectar. She waggles her abdomen to tell how far the bees must travel. Other worker bees will follow her dance to ensure they will find the nectar. Inside the beehive, there are three types of bees. The queen bee is the largest bee in the hive. She is the mother of all the bees, and she is the only bee in the hive that produces fertile eggs, as many as 1,500 eggs a day. There is only one queen in each hive. A queen bee can live several years. Beekeepers sometimes mark the queen on the back of her thorax to make her easier to locate. The drone bee is the male bee and does no work in the hive. He is big, fat, and round and has no stinger. His only job is to mate with virgin queens in the spring. He flies from the hive to mate in the air. He has big eyes to see the queen bees flying on their maiden flight. Worker bees are female bees that do all the work in the hive. They are the smallest bee, and a hive can consist of 50,000 to 80,000 workers. When they are first born, because they are not strong enough to fly, they work within the hive. Their first job is to be a cleaner bee, cleaning the entire beehive from top to bottom each day. Other worker bees defend their home, the beehive, protecting the colony from anyone who does not belong in their hive. Young bees, or larvae, must be fed, and some worker bees become a nurse bee when feeding their young baby bees. They also feed the queen bee and the drone bees. On hot summer days, worker bees will ventilate the beehive by using their wings and fanning the entrance of the hive to create a cool air draft within the colony. Worker bees make beeswax from their own bodies and form it into honeycomb. The honey bee eats lots of honey, then the wax comes through tiny pores in the bee's abdomen. They form the wax into honeycomb cells where it will become the storage areas for honey and a place to raise young bees. Once in a while a bee may die within the hive, and some bees will have the job of removing the bee from the hive. After a few weeks the worker bee is strong enough to leave the hive. One of the last jobs she does in her lifetime is to gather nectar and pollen from flowers, working tirelessly for the rest of her life. Beekeepers keep bees for two main reasons. 
first to harvest honey, and the second is for pollination. Bees make far more honey than they need. The beekeeper harvests extra honey from the bees, leaving enough honey for the bees to survive the winter. Here in North Georgia, we have two honey seasons. Spring blossoms that bloom from early March through June are harvested, and this is the mountain wildflower honey season. Our second honey season is sourwood. The sourwood tree grows in the southern Appalachian Mountains. It is also called the sorrel tree or the lily of the valley tree. Sourwood honey is extra light in color and extremely aromatic with a distinctive rich flavor. For our premium sourwood honey, we add new empty honey supers on the hives when the sourwood begins to bloom. This extra care is given to the honey to ensure its purity. Sourwood blooms from the middle of June through July. During this time, few other flowers are blooming. During harvest, beekeepers carry full honey supers into their honey house for extracting. Frames of honeycomb are placed into the uncapping machine to remove the beeswax cappings and expose the honey. The frames of honey then are moved into the honey extractor. This is a centrifuge that spins the honey out of the honeycomb. Honey is then pumped into 1,500 pound storage tanks. Now the honey bottling begins. The beeswax cappings are melted down later and the beeswax is used to make beeswax foundation and pure beeswax candles. Gathering honey is not the honeybee's primary purpose in our world. Honeybees pollinate 80% of our fruits, vegetables, legumes, and nuts we eat each day. Many plants rely on beneficial insects like the honeybee for pollination to thrive and survive. We do not need honeybees to live. There are plants that do not need a beneficial pollinator to reproduce. They include wheat, rice, and mushrooms. But we need honeybees to enjoy the full bounty of nature. Honeybees are crucial for pollination and production of most of our fruit, flowers, and vegetables that we depend upon. In the United States, honeybees contribute over $15 billion to the agricultural industry through pollination. Find a local beekeeper, try some honey, and enjoy this sweet taste of nature. <laughs>